Hello everybody and welcome to this very first masterclass, an online masterclass. I know many of you have been asking for real masterclasses, lessons, tips and advices about vocal techniques. I don't really have the time anymore to teach as I used to do, but I'm happy to uh, tell you a little bit more about my experiences with singing. Vocal techniques for modern singing uh, has been developing throughout the years a lot. If I look back in to how things were when I studied uh, in comparison to nowadays, there's so much more happening and so many more methods out there that are really, really good. And um, I kind of feel that my knowledge about it is slightly outdated because it's 20 years ago that I actually studied, but I've been singing well, quite a bit. And I'd like to tell you a little bit more about how I sing, how I warm up my voice, which exercises work for me, um, that doesn't mean they work for you, but I can tell you how it works for me. And from there you can see what works for you because every voice is different. Every person is different. Your reach might be different. Um, these things I cannot change, but I can tell you a little bit more. I still really think that having a teacher in real life is the best. Thing. However, you can read every method in the world, you can watch a lot of YouTube videos about how it's done, but we on YouTube cannot be your talking mirror. And with that, I mean a teacher that can see and hear what you're doing when you're doing it, because you might learn something new and you want to try it out, but really have the self-reflection to understand whether you did it right or not, or what you need to do to get it right. If you didn't, that comes from a teacher which I call the talking mirror in the room. In this masterclass, I'd like to tell you a little bit more about basics, the basic vocal techniques. Uh, without them, nothing really happens. If you don't breathe right, if you don't give the right support with the right muscles, if you have a tension in your mouth or your jaw, if the position of your body isn't good, if there's not enough twang, nothing's going to happen. Um, I've been teaching for over 10 years, uh, I should say 15 years actually, where I've actively been teaching people. And throughout those years, I very often encountered problems that had to go back to the basics. I cannot sing that high note. No, it's because one of the basic techniques aren't covered enough for you to actually make that note sound good and easy. Um, I cannot sing long notes probably has something to do with the way you breathe, the way you activate your muscles. Um, I cannot sing low. I cannot reach a vibrato. All those things, you cannot start coloring before you've mapped out the outlines of your painting, so to speak. And um, it's important that you take your time to learn these things. Have a little patience with yourself. Um, don't start here. Settle yourself for the time being with here until you can build up to here and here and so on and so forth. It's a little bit boring. And of course you can still just go ahead every now and then and just do it anyway, because it should be fun. If it's not fun, don't do it. For me, singing has always been fun. It's still my biggest hobby. It's, it's my biggest passion. And I became very nerdy when it came to techniques. Um, but you don't have to be that to enjoy singing. It needs to come from you and from your heart and from the story you want to tell. And the techniques are just tools, a way to get something done. And I'd love to help you with a little bit of those tools. So what is breathing technique? You breathe in, you breathe out. Yeah, we do that every day. So how hard could it be? Um, the thing is that with regular breathing, it is an automatic kind of thing that indeed you do, but you breathe in to breathe out immediately. When you talk like I do now, I also only use a little bit of my air to talk and I don't just breathe out. So that means that breathing in and out is different with singing as well, because you don't want to use all the air at once. You keep it in and you give, give a little bit, you give a little bit, you give a little bit to keep the vocal cords vibrating because that's what's happening. The air passes through in your throat and makes them vibrate. And everything around that small little area of those fragile vocal cords should give the go to do that. And the right breathing technique and right, all those basics give that go. Um, so when you breathe in a lot, 
you build up a lot of pressure. All that pressure needs to be controlled by muscles, the right muscles. There are a lot of muscles that are used with singing that don't do anything for breathing support and just make you very tired. Um, stressing the muscles is also a technique on its own because you don't want to just power it. You want to kind of build it up. You want to be able to power throughout the whole sentence that you're singing. Maybe at the end of the sentence, you're going to have that high note. You So you don't want to give away all your power all at once. The same with, with the air, of course. So the control over the muscles, the right ones, is very important. It's quite a detailed thing. And there are many ways to roam, you could say. So there are many different kinds of exercises and maybe nine out of 10 doesn't work for you, but that one really does. So it's it's kind of testing uh, for everybody to see what works. Um, I'm not gonna go through all of that today. That's gonna be for another masterclass. Cause once again, getting the basics right is gonna do you a lot for everything you wanna do afterwards. Um, so good breathing. A good technique of the right muscles for breathing, support is vital. Um, now, if you think of yourself as an instrument, if you could compare yourself to a guitar, for instance, the strings on a guitar are like your vocal cords and uh, the body of a guitar makes the acoustics. And so does our body, uh, the, the chest and the head, everything here is determining how the sound is going to be. And we can find you then by the position of our mouth and tongue and where we're going to use the areas, especially with classical singing, uh, that's vital. And of course, there are different, a lot of different kinds of styles, hence the different kinds of sounds. There's so much you can do with, <laughs> with this area. It's, it's almost bizarre. But one golden rule is that you should never stress your jaw. A lot of jaws naturally tend to help out by stressing a lot, especially when the high note comes or when it comes, you know, things start to get difficult. A lot of jaws naturally want to come forward. I I haven't figured it out why, but it must be a natural way to kind of, okay, there it comes and you start to stress it like that. Whether you sing classical or something else, don't stress it. There are different positions needed for different kinds of sounds once again, but it should never be stressed the lips should not be stressed and uh, the, the lower jaw should never come in front of so you can always have a little exercise if you think you're doing it but putting a finger behind your upper tooth teeth actually if you have several i, I fortunately do and try and sing. I know it looks a little bit funny and when you have makeup on it doesn't get any better but that is a little tip i can give you as I probably made you feel, there's a little bit more to it that I will come back to in another episode, another masterclass. This is that much for the basics for now. Thank you so much for watching this very first masterclass. In the second masterclass, we'll be looking a little bit more into this breathing technique and breathing support. Uh, while we'll be, uh, be doing some of the exercises that have always been working for me. Once again, these masterclasses will come out of my experience, things that work for me. I still advise you to look for your talking mirror, your teacher in your area that can help you uh, go from A to B. I recommend you to train in front of a mirror even if you cannot find a teacher, uh, I know it's a luxury, but um, training in front of a mirror, even if it doesn't talk back, still makes that you can see what you're doing, not only feel, because everything with singing happens inside of us, uh, but we can still see if the belly is actually working, we can see if the jaw is not stressing, we can see if we're not lifting that if we're here, we're going to go through those things we're going to be focusing on, but practice and um, get used to a certain training routine, um, not only to warm up your voice, but only to also to warm up the the head, basically, the, the mind. Go from whatever you were doing to I'm going to sing now mode, both physically as mentally focus on what you're doing. And if you repeat the same routines, you kind of program yourself that way. So it's on one side that muscle memory, but also mentally good way to, okay, I don't need to think about whatever it was that you were thinking about. Now I'm just going to focus on, okay, what am I doing? I'm breathing and the, the vocal techniques, because from there you're so much more ready to actually go into that song and trigger those things, work on those things that you wanted to work on. So. That's uh, my advice for now. This was the first masterclass. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next.